Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. A month ago, I posted a video that if you are still running Windows 10 version 21H1, that um, the May 2021 feature update will be reaching its end of support on the 13th of December 2022. Now, a month later, I'm just posting another reminder that in just over a month's time, on the 13th of December, that Windows 10 21H1 will be reaching its end of support and end of life and end of servicing, whatever you would like to call it, which means um, on the 13th, which is the second Tuesday of December, um, this will be the last patch Tuesday that Windows 10 21H1 will receive any um, security and quality updates, which means after that date, um, if you don't upgrade um, to a newer version of Windows 10 or Windows 11, if your device supports the hardware requirements, um, this means that the longer you leave that upgrade process, your device will be susceptible to threat and attack, which is not a good idea. Now, um, this applies to all editions of Windows 10 version 21H1. So whatever edition of Windows 10 21H1 you are running, it will affect all editions of that operating system. So just take note of that. Now, um, Microsoft has also noted that um, if you haven't upgraded already, the closer you get to that cutoff date next month, um, they are planning to update devices nearing the end of service into the latest version of Windows 10 automatically, and that will be through the Windows Update um, on your Windows 10 device, which means basically in a nutshell that devices will be upgraded to Windows 10 version 22H2, which is the latest stable release of Windows 10, automatically in the coming weeks. So if you don't want to be upgraded to Windows 10 22H2 automatically, you need to make a plan sooner than later, as if it hasn't done so already, um, that update will take place automatically. So you might wake up one day and your device has been upgraded automatically to Windows 10 22H2. Now, um, if your device does meet the hardware requirements to be upgraded to Windows 11, that will also appear as an optional feature update on your Windows Update page, as I have mentioned previously. But um, um, Windows 10 devices won't be upgraded to Windows 11 automatically when they reach the end of servicing. So you don't have to worry about that. Um, it, they will only be upgraded to the latest version and newest version of Windows 10 automatically and not Windows 11. Now, in case you are wondering, Windows 10 um, will be continue to be supported by Microsoft until 2025, as I have mentioned previously. But I seriously um, um, doubt that Microsoft will end support for Windows 10 in 2025. I have mentioned this previously. Um, there's too many users still on Windows 10 and I doubt that Microsoft will um, um, end support completely for Windows 10 um, in 2025. But with Microsoft, as I always mention, only time will tell. Now, um, if you are wondering what Windows 10 version you are running, um, in case you're unaware, the easiest way to find out is just to head to your search and type in Win Ver. Hit enter, and that will open up this menu, Winver. And here's your version, version 22H2. I'm currently running that, which is the latest stable release. So if you see version 21H1 on this menu, um, yeah, by the version, you need to make a plan sooner than later and upgrade to a newer uh, and later version of Windows 10, or if you meet the, min the minimum requirements for Windows 11, upgrade to Windows 11 to continue receiving um, security updates from a month to month basis and also those quality updates. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.